Okay. Let me show you guys what we have. If anybody wants to know how to get into the public test build, let me show you what I'm talking about here, guys. So you go to your Steam, right? First thing you're going to do is go ahead and read over real quick the Dead by Daylight forum post. So you go to your community hub, you go to the discussions, and you're looking for, you are looking for, right here, public test build, flick now. I think that's it. Yeah, this is it right here. So look for the public test build, flick now. Um, you're going to have a post here by Queen Behavior, and it tells you how to do it. So basically what you want to do is just come to step four here. You're going to want to copy and paste this this right here in the quotation uh, marks, the DVD public test, because you want the capitalization and everything like that. So the easiest thing to do is just copy and paste the DVD public test right there. So right click, copy. Then you're going to go to your library up here. You're going to click your games. You're going to find te uh, Dead by Daylight. Now, if you're not in the public test build, you're not going to see this public beta in parentheses here. It's just going to say Dead by Daylight. Anyway, you're going to go ahead and right click on that. You're going to click Properties. And once you do that, this window is going to pop up. Okay. You're going to click Beta. Okay. Again, when you click the Beta tab up here at the top, all you're going to see is None, opt out of the beta programs. This is what you're going to see right here. So you're not going to have, if you do the drop down, you're not going to have public beta as an option. So all you're going to see right here is opt out of uh, beta programs because you're not going to be in a beta. And drop down is not going to give you any more choices. So then you're going to come into this blank slot right here. You're going to go ahead and hit control V or right click in there and click paste and paste in that DVD public test. You're going to click check code. Once you do that, once you click check code right there, uh, then you're going to have a public beta available on the drop down. So you're going to select that. And I think it does that automatically. I think once you click check code, I believe this does this automatically. But the reason I'm not going to do it for you guys is because then I'll have to re download stuff. So if I get out of the beta, so to get out of the beta, once you do that, but anyway, once you close this guys, after you put in this code, uh, you should see that a download starts for the new public test build of Dead by Daylight. It should start downloading and installing. And when you want to leave the public pit beta, you're just simply going to come back here again. You're going to do this drop down menu and you're going to choose none. Once you do that and hit close, it will start downloading the other, the regular real version of Dead by Daylight. So every time you switch this, you're going to have a download and an installation of that download required. Okay. So we're not going to do anything here, guys. We're going to keep this in the public beta right now because we're going to continue to play it. But somebody asked how you do the public test build. That is how you do it. Okay. Just remember to go to your discussions of Dead by Daylight. Look for this PTB flick now. It'll give you the steps right here, how to access the public test build. It tells you step by step how to do it. But really what you want to do is copy and paste that. And if you forgot anything that I told you, just follow these seven steps here. And then it also goes, takes you step by step on how to disable it. Okay?